Hi everyone, welcome to Before Bedtime with Eli. This is a brand new series I wanted to start here on my YouTube channel and through my coaching practice because I understand that before people go to sleep at night is when they're thinking about everything the most. They're thinking about their troubles, they're thinking about their trials, their tribulations, they're thinking about everything that's going on in their lives. That's what's happening to you folks. And it affects your sleep. And I will tell you, the, the, the first topic I'm going to be discussing is, well, I'll, this is a new series here, and how important is good sleep? One more time, how important is good sleep? It is absolutely crucial to get a good night's sleep. So that way you can, you know, refresh your body, recharge yourself, and then get up the very next morning and just fire on all cylinders and be as productive as you can possibly be. I'm going to share with you folks a story that my late father shared with me when I was younger. My father passed away 12 years ago, but let me tell you, he left so many great gems. And I'm so proud of my father that I'm going to be sharing a lot of those gems with you folks here through this series and other videos on my channel. So please don't forget to subscribe and bang the bell and all that good stuff. Select on notifications if you haven't already done so. Lots more content is coming to this channel here. But uh, when I was younger, um, I used to stay up really, really late. Um, and I would go to school extremely tired. And sometimes I would fall asleep in class at times. I don't get me wrong, I passed all my classes and I got good grades, but still falling asleep in class doesn't look good, right? Even if you are smart enough to pass, you know, the tests and all that. Um, and I still struggle with that to this day, but not as bad because I'll tell you why. My father told me that, son, for every hour of sleep you get before midnight, it's as good as having two hours of sleep. So for example, if you go to bed at 11 o'clock at night and you wake up at six in the morning, that's seven hours of actual sleep. But because you went to bed before midnight, it's the same as getting 14 hours of sleep because you're going to bed early and, and your body, you know, is programmed to go to bed, you know, before midnight. People that stay up past midnight are forcing themselves to stay up or they're thinking about uh, lots of things going on in their lives, uh, typically things that, uh, you know, may not be going as well. And that can consume your mind. Um, so my advice to you folks, you know, Try to get to bed, you know, as soon as possible, you know, after 9 or 10 o'clock. You want to start to wind down. I know there are going to be times if you're an entrepreneur like me, you're going to be working late and you've got some deadlines. And I totally, totally understand that. But even if you stay up late one night, you know, to get some extra work done, you're going to be less productive the next day. If you continuously get in the habit of going to bed before midnight and I'd say get at least at the bare minimum get at least six hours uh, you know preferably seven to eight hours of sleep and you do it before midnight you're gonna feel really refreshed you're gonna be able to get up in the morning and you're gonna be able to make up for that extra work that you would have stayed up the night before late to get it done I'm telling you folks you're gonna be much more productive if you go to bed before midnight so uh before i wrap up this uh first uh intro video here for this new series um you know i'm going to be discussing ways that um you can help yourself fall asleep you know ways that you can calm your mind you can calm your nerves uh what are some things you can do um that will just allow you to relax and fall into a deep sleep so you can you know recharge and be you know full force the very next day so um that's all i wanted to share during this intro video pretty short video huh i'm gonna be i'm gonna try to keep these videos uh before bedtime 
uh, you know, with Eli. Uh, 10 minutes or less. Some of them may go up to 15 or 20 minutes, but for the most part, they're going to be about 10 minutes or less. And uh, I'm going to be releasing these. I'm going to try to do these at least five days a week. If possible, I'm going to try to do one each and every day. Of course, there may be some days where you may not get one. So, you know, if I miss a day or so every now and then, please forgive me. Uh, I've got a lot of content I'm putting out, I'm putting out, which is what I'm trying to say. And just lots of things going on. Uh, but I want to release these videos. They're probably going to be released typically um, around around 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Pacific, um, 11 p.m. Eastern. I was debating on when to release these because sometimes I do live streams um, at 11 Eastern, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific. And I just decided whether I'm doing something else, you know, on YouTube, such as a live stream, um, I'm, I'm still going to, you know, set these videos to be released at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, uh, each and every night that they get released. I want to make this uh, channel uh, a place where you can go to, you know, get that last second motivation and get that feel good content that will allow you to get a great night's sleep. And, and I want to be here for you folks because I also know that many of you are alone. Um, many of you are single and you're going to, you know, sleep alone each and every night. And that's part of the issue. At least you feel that's part of the issue that's preventing you from getting a good night's sleep. I want to be there for you. I want to help you through this journey. And trust me. Trust me, the more and more we get into this, the more and more you're going to get into this amazing routine that's also going to happen throughout your day that's going to allow you to get amazing sleep so you can recharge and be 100% the next day and be happy and productive and positive. So with that being said, I want to thank you for taking the time to view this video. Another video is coming to this channel soon. Please like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, select the notifications. Oh, I forgot. Baby Z and Millennial Monkey. Millennial Monkey and Baby Z are back. I'll share more about them at the beginning of the next video. So stay tuned. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.